Hi everyone, I'm Red Herring and this is what I wore this month for the month of November 2015. We're already into December, but I didn't get to put out this video last week. Um, it was just kind of chaotic. I had a lot of extra of uh, a lot of extra kids here. My son's buddies all spent Thanksgiving with us for like four days, so uh, hard to get anything done. But I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving if you are here in the States. Um, like I said, mine was hectic. If you watched my last What I Wore This Month video, I put up a calendar showing how frequent my periods were coming, which was about every week and a half, two weeks, and then I would get another full period. I guess all I had to do was complain enough because um, after that area of periods, I had a good long break from having a period which um, w lasted for over a month and actually I was late and a company that I was supposed to be testing for had contacted me asking if I got my period yet and you know sadly I had to tell them uh, that I was late and that I would try them um, on a dry run during that, that time because I was supposed to have my period already. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> I really am not at liberty to say what company, what cup, um, and all that other good stuff, but I will tell you that I got to test out a 50, a 60, and a 70 shore rating, and then a different um, model or mold of their cup. Um, so I have a little bit of gauge now on the different shore ratings, well, the 50 through 70 shore ratings, and I could um, kind of do a squish test to, to, against some of the other cups um, if you're curious what uh, shore rating they are, but uh, I still can't show you the cup, so I can't uh, put the cup on camera. Um, I could just verbally tell you or type it to you or whatever. Um, so I do have a, a set of cups that I also got to try because of that period when I finally got it, it did run long and I will put up my calendar here so that you can see. And I will also um, put up the calendar at the end of this video to show you which days I wore which cups. The four cups that I was testing, um, the unnamed company, uh, they were three small cups and one large cup. And for three days, I used the three smaller cups. On the third smallest, uh, the third small cup, I ended up spotting and getting my period. And so I um, changed to the large cup and I used that one for the first couple days of my heavy period. After those cups um, I did change to the Amy Cup Crystal and this is a medium size and they do have a small size. I'm not sure if they're going to have a large size in the future but these are the two sizes that they offer, small and medium. So I went to the medium size and if you notice here my stem did snap off and I wasn't even using the cup. I was just pulling on the stem and not very hard. If you watched my review about this, um, I, I pulled on the stem. I was typing to somebody trying to explain it and I was you know kind of testing it to find the words um, and it just snapped off on me and so I was kind of worried about uh, using this cup when I changed to the small later on in my period but um, I I was okay with this cup I did have some problems getting it uh, to open for me and you would think because it, it is a firm cup that it would just pop open really easily but when I folded it uh, it just kinda wanted to stay closed like this it didn't want to pop open and no matter how much I pinched it down here it just again uh, kept its form so I, I had to um, insert it kind of like a soft cup or for me a soft cup insertion so I folded it in an easy fold only halfway uh, in and then I put my finger in here pushed it up against um, my pubic bone which would be this way and then let it open against my finger like that so it opened and it was nice and comfortable while it was inserted it's a low cup or a, a short cup um, so I was kind of worried because usually bell cups for me ride up high 
and then they seal itself pretty tightly. Um, but this one, this one w rode up really high for me, and um, when I went to go remove it, I had to keep bearing down to reach it. Uh, it kind of was slippery down here with my own uh, bodily body fluids, bodily bodily fluids. I don't know. Um, you can see that they're not raised a whole bunch, so I did have some problems trying to grip onto that. I actually had to use my fingernails to to grab it when I could actually uh, when I could finally reach it. Um, it didn't seal really tightly, so I was happy for that. Um, but it did ride up really high and made it difficult for me to remove. So just for that fact, um, this didn't end up being a favorite cup of mine. Uh, probably uh, much better for somebody that has a short cervix or a low cervix, sorry. Um, and the capacity is pretty good. If you notice, the holes are right at the top of the rim, so you do get... Uh, the full capacity of this cup, even if your cervix is sitting down in there, it's still a good, it's still a good capacity. I mean, it's not like the Super Jenny with its superpower holding, uh, but it, it, it's a fairly good cup. I really like the shape of it, um, the bowl shape of this cup. So I did try the small one later on in my period um, when I was a little lighter. And I was scared because, again, I didn't want the stem to snap off on me. And if the uh, medium was short, this one is even shorter. And so I was really worried that I was not going to be able to get this one out. And um, and I did have, have those problems. Again, I didn't want to grab for the stem, so I kept bearing down and bearing down. And I just barely reached uh, the the base of this cup or the grip rings of this cup to get it out. So I only used this for one day um, because I just didn't want to have to fumble with it. The next cup that I used during that period was the menstrual cup. And I have both the small and the large sizes and I did get to use them both. I used the small one at the end of my period more but I used the large one um, during a heavy period, which was about four days in to my actual period period. So um, it's a fairly soft cup, and it has a good soft um, back of here, uh, back of the cup, and then the rim has a good firmness to it. Uh, not really, really firm, but enough for it to open up easily. I did have to use an easy fold for it and insert it halfway in again and let it pop open, but I had no problems getting it to pop open when I did it that way. The stem isn't too long and not too short. Um, I could feel it every once in a while when I sat down a certain way, but I just had to shift my uh, weight or adjust my body and then it disappeared. It wasn't painful or anything. Um, not really uncomfortable either, just a, a, a telltale sign that I was on my period and that I had a cup in. Um, but it is a, a good flexible stem all the way around. Uh, the cup itself was really comfortable. I didn't feel it. I um, did have to empty it um, in the middle of the day. So I normally empty my cup in the morning and then well with the super jenny I empty my cup in the morning and then I only empty it um, at night again right before I go to bed um, while I'm in the shower uh, so with these uh, regular sized cups I have to uh, normally empty it in the middle of the day around three to six o'clock um, so again with this cup I did have to empty it in the middle of the day um, but it was no problem. I mean, I, I had to do that with a lot of other cups. I think the Super Jenny is the only one that I haven't had to empty in the middle of the day. Um, so, comfortable, like I said, and um, I actually had sex with this cup inserted. On the pamphlet that came with this cup, it says that having sexual intercourse with this cup inserted could cause it to be... Um, harder to remove, um, but they do not state that you can't have 
sucks with this cup in so I was excited to try it and I did do a review on this cup and talked about it but a bit more um, but I didn't have any problems removing it after I had sex so it was a good cup and a good cup for that purpose um, I also want to mention that out of the cups that I did try and have um, sexual intercourse with this cup allowed me the most feeling um, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but there, I guess just because it's soft certain areas um, in my body, I could feel more. I had more feeling, so I, I mean, I can't can't really explain it other than that. But it, it was a nice cup for that reason. Um, I did try the small later on at, during my lighter periods, and I had no problems again with this cup, inserting it, uh, removing it, using it comfortable, all good. I was really happy with the menstrual cup. The Small Super Jenny was announced that it was available on Halloween, which was a Saturday, Saturday this year. Um, and I received my Small Super Jenny on Monday morning, and I was really surprised that it, arri it arrived so quickly. Um, and I was really, really excited to get my hands on it so fast. Uh, I didn't get to use it or I didn't use it on a dry run and I did end up waiting for my period and I was on a lighter time of my period when I did end up trying this. Um, but I was, I was just so happy that I got a small and now I'm waiting for the colors like the rest of you which should hopefully be out really soon. Um, I'll keep you updated probably on my Facebook. Um, if you're you're waiting and watching for that, but um, it was a really easy cup to insert and get open. I did have to use the you know same thing, easy fold halfway in, blah blah blah. Uh, but I had no problems inserting it, and it was really comfortable. Um, I would probably have to empty this cup one or two more times extra than I normally do if I was on my heavy period, but it still has a good capacity. To it. Here's the small Super Jenny and the large menstrual cup. I know this is not on a straight flat surface, but can you get an idea? And I know that I say that uh, bell shaped cups usually ride up really high in section or seal themselves really tightly around my cervix, but I didn't have any problems with the Super Jenny. I didn't have to keep bearing down to reach it, and it has a good, um, a good silicone where it's it's not like really textured or anything, but it has that grippiness to it. So not really frosted, but uh, it has a grippiness to it where even if it didn't have these um, unique grip rings on it, I would probably still be able to remove it really easy, easily. Um, just you know using the silicone and you can see they're pinching it and pulling that my fingers don't slip off when I first got the Super Jenny I don't know what cup I was um, comparing it against but I was kind of on the fence about it I with a large I was sticking my finger in there and it felt like the silicone was really thin um, you can tell that it gets thicker as you pinch up to the rim of the cup, which is the invisible secondary rim. Um, and I was worried that it wasn't going to last a long time because I felt like it was a thin as silicone, but uh, I can really dig my nail into there and I'm shaking, putting uh, pressure on that and it, it doesn't doesn't do anything. It's it's strong, it's going to last, and I'm really, really happy for this company and this cup. I, I just love it a lot. Um, one of my top three favorites. I'll say one of my top two favorites. Um, so check out the Super Jenny if you're looking for a um, good capacity cup. The last cup that I tried during this last period, um, I was already just a little bit of spotting, um, but it was the Amy Cup Original. And um, I didn't want to have to fumble with this cup 
when I was on a full-blown period, a heavy time in my period. So I waited. I knew that I was going to have to try it sometime, and I went ahead and just did it. But if you haven't seen this cup, I do have information on this cup a little bit more. I'm sorry, I'm really itchy right here for some reason. Um, but it does come with an applicator and the cup. It looks kind of like a light bulb. Uh, it also comes with a little bottle of lube, but when I received mine, the safety ring was already popped off, so I didn't want to use it. Um, I tried to stay with what the directions said, um, and there was quite a bit of information on that thing, and there's a lot of pictures that uh, walk you through it, but um, what you do is you fold this cup up, and you insert it into the applicator. It's supposed to be a hands clean design. You insert the applicator like you would a tampon and then you stick your finger in here to push the cup out. And this is one of the problems I had. Um, I must have pushed the cup way too hard in there because it just didn't want to open, I mean, push through really easily. I had to, you know, kind of jab my finger through the applicator uh, to push it out. Uh, I rinsed this off and this hand was clean for a while, but then out of habit with all of my other cups, I always insert a finger and check that the rim is open and that my cervix is within the opening of the cup. So that felt all good, but now my hand was dirty and uh, it was placed where it needed to be, I stood up and I could immediately feel the bottom of this cup. And you can't cut any of this off. This little tab here is a uh, flat, firm surface for you to be able to push the cup uh, on when it's in the applicator. And then the bowl of the cup goes all the way down to here, and my nail is holding me back from of making my finger flush up against there, but it does, if you can see where my finger is through the cup right now, um, it does go all the way down there, so you can't cut anything off. It is a fairly long cup. If you use the Lily Cup Original, this cup might work for you with the length. And that was the Metro Cup Large that I had up against this cup. So um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to use this all day. And down here, because it tapers to a smaller area, ooh, hit my table, sorry. It does feel more firm. And so there was just no really getting around that for me. I would definitely be able to feel that every time that I sat down. I could already feel it while I was just standing up. So I squatted de back down to remove it and I followed the directions to use the applicator and one of my worries was um, before I even tried the cup was that I was going to pinch myself, my, my skin, my lips or something when I uh, inserted the applicator to locate the bottom of the cup, my labia and all the you know sensitive tissues in that area. and. That actually happened. As soon as I tried to insert this, because this was so low um, and it was in you know all of my nerve ending areas, as soon as I tried to insert this, I pinched the applicator up against the cup and I had some of my um, tissues in there and that pinched me. So I kept trying, you know, gingerly trying to get it uh, maneuvered in there, but I just kept pinching myself. Um, I finally worked its uh, worked the applicator in, and I turned it a couple times. And on the pamphlet, it says to shake it to break the seal that had created. And um, that's not the words that that they used. I wish I brought my pamphlet. I'm in the living room today, not at my desk, um, but I didn't bring the pamphlet with me. Uh, they did use different words to say to break this seal. And so I shook it and I tried to bring it down and it was still sealed on me. I could feel it kind of pulling. So I shook it some more and I felt really stupid in the bathroom doing this. So I shook it and shook it, and then I tried again, and it just was not breaking the seal. Finally, I removed the applicator, 
stuck my finger in there, tried to push down on the rim, and I must have hit my cervix because right there I had a little bit of um, pain, and I tried to bring it down, and I could feel my cervix being pulled down. So I kept trying and trying and trying, and it seemed like every time I pushed that rim down, it sucked onto my cervix even harder. And I know that they don't they say that it's not actually a suction but it really did feel that it suctioned itself that it was like pulling it tighter and tighter into the cup my cervix into the cup um, and I was trying to pull it down and it just wasn't coming down I finally latched my fingernail into the cup and um, broke it like that but I must have hit my cervix uh, several times and I finally brought the cup out and I was cramping so I cramped all night and uh, I was groaning because my husband actually thought I was having a good dream um, but I, I was waking up with cramps and um, the next morning I didn't want to try it again and uh, I was just very light spotting so I wasn't worried about having another cup in or anything um, the next day I didn't want to use it I was still cramping then the following day after that um, I didn't have my period anymore but I figured that I would try it one more time maybe I just did something wrong um, and I didn't use the applicator for the second time because on the pamphlet it says you don't have to use the applicator so I took the cup and I just folded it uh, an easy fold, inserted it, let it pop open, and then maneuvered it into place, and I had no problems inserting it or, like that or anything. It was actually easier and faster for me to insert it without the applicator than with it in or on. Applied? Whatever. Um, so it was sitting just fine. I stood up and I kind of walked around my bathroom, took a couple steps, and I'm like, oh my god, I, I just... I know I can't use that. I don't know what the small size um, looks like or how much smaller it is. I, this is a medium, which is the larger of the two sizes that they offer. Um, but I just knew I was not going to be comfortable with that. So again, I squatted down to remove it, figured this is not the cup that's for me. And, you know, it's just not comfortable. It's not a good size. Uh, so I went to go remove it, and again, it suctioned so hard, and I kept trying to break that seal, and I even tried to dig out this the the rim like like before, and it it was just not releasing. I just kind of sat there and was like, okay, you know, just breathe. You can't panic. We we keep telling people, you know, don't panic, don't panic when you can't get a cup to remove, be removed and so I just kinda sat there for a good five minutes and then I tried again but at this point I was already cramping a lot and I almost called my husband to help me um, finally pulled it down I could feel myself being pulled with it and it was really painful and I finally got it to break uh, from around my cervix pulled it out and vowed never to use this cup again Please remember that this was my own experience. Um, I don't want to leave you with a note that uh, the Amy Cup original didn't work for me, so it's not going to work for you. It may very well work for you, um, and it may work for you very well. Uh, the length for my body was not right, and I don't know what it was with the ceiling on to my cervix. Um, I do know how to use menstrual cups just to put it out there, um, but I'm not sure what that was. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, my body. It, it It is just my body that it didn't work for. So um, if the measurements work for you, give it a try. If not, you know, you could always de-stash these cups. Um, the Lil um, Lily Cup, sorry, Amy Cup <laughs> Crystal is probably really good for somebody with a medium to low cervix. Uh, it's a good firmness too if you have problems getting some cups to open. Uh, like I said, this one, I don't know, it just kind of wanted to keep it its shape even when I folded it over. 
but uh, the menstrual cup was really nice for me, my husband, my husband and I, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I, I was really excited to try this cup and it was a good fit for what I needed it for, um, both for my menstrual cycle and for sex. Um, and I'll always love the Super Jenny, great product. Uh, did you get to pick one up during their Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday sale? Let me know in the comments. If you missed that, I'm sure they're going to have a sale in the new, near future, maybe for the holidays. And don't forget, their colors are coming soon too. Until next time, take care. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.